Welcome everybody, we are starting into our ESO housing hike. This is showcasing creative player houses in The Elder Scrolls Online. I'm J.R. Ellis, I'll be your tour guide as we visit a bunch of player houses on PCEU server. Something I stream live each week at twitch.tv slash J.R. Ellis. You're always welcome to join during the live stream. We have a Twitch chat here, they're spamming emotes and having fun here. And if you're watching on the YouTube VOD, if you could please subscribe, that will help a lot. So we're going to go and tour some homes, get some decoration inspiration. And no particular theme, we'll see lots of different styles, see what you can do with housing. It's, I like to think of it as an artistic medium with infinite possibilities. So, Ananark has done up their Ebonheart Chateau, which doesn't really look like an Ebonheart Chateau. Ebonheart Chateau is kind of in the shadow of a volcano, but Ananark has completely covered up the house <laughs> with with volcanic rock and dead trees to totally change the feel of this place. So, what do you do? What do you do with housing? Another high pity hype. Oh my gosh, Bell Dermnick, thank you, thank you. Big hype train going on. Oh, that was amazing C code. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, Twitch chat spoiling me here. I love it. Thank you, thank you. I love So, Adonark has recreated the Deadlands. If you're not familiar with the Deadlands, then... I don't know how you missed all the promotional material with <laughs> Mayron Sagon and everything. Anyway, we have kind of a Daedric realm incursion here. The De Deadlands, the realm of Mayron Sagon, the big, beefy, four-armed red guy with amazing back muscles, as far as I know. So you can kind of see a little bit of that here with a lot of Daedra going about there, a lot of kind of monstrosities, um, and lava, a lot of lava, so, and death, and a little bit of a twistiness to it, so, anyway, Ananark is amazing at changing the feel of places, so, we have the Deadlands kind of bleeding in, um, bleeding into Nern here, so we have the sacrifices, and the rituals, and what a beautiful, beautiful, Corpse failed place. Okay, and all, oh, making really good use of these cages. And not only is there a skeleton in there, but it's on fire. It's perfect. Okay, beautiful. Somebody rushed those achievement furnishings. Yeah, so some of these, um, like this platform, came from the achievement furniture from Blackwood. So if you check out the achievement furniture from the Leia Winds furnishing shop, then. You can get some cool Deadland stuff. That includes, like, these pillars here. And then a lot of these other rocks and trees and whatnot are from home goods furnitures. Uh, not necessarily from Blackwood, but before that. Or the the shrubs are, like, from the elsewhere home goods furniture. So a lot of these are actually pretty af affordable or accessible. Not necessarily a lot of crafted stuff here. But a lot of things that really change the environment. And that's what Ananark is really great at. Okay, so we have the Deadlands. And... It's a little, it's a little, it's a little spooky. It's a little creepy. It's a little on fire. It's, it's beautiful. It's definitely creative, especially since this is the Ebonheart Chateau, and it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> it's a good backdrop for it, though, because you have embers kind of flying around every once in a while. That's actually just part of the house. Um, oh, and then we maybe have what had been a sacred place, a, like a, chapel to RK here, but this seems to have been twisted as well and broken apart, and wow, it's amazing how this just opens up. It's like, it's like this chapel is splitting in twain and going to fall into the lava down below as the Deadlands continue to take over this place. So there, there is lava it, as part of like the backdrop of Ebonheart Chateau because it's right next to a volcano. So, and an arc! Genius. I don't. I don't know how else to describe Ananark's build style, where they take a house, and they use the interesting geography of the house, like like these, like the like the embers or the, the lava flows, and they just really incorporate it into their build here um, to totally transform it. So amazing, amazing. I like how we can see how the church is being like really split apart with all the pews and the and the books and everything. Um, yeah, just everything falling apart and burning. So this feels like a very active scene, too. Diablo 2 vibes. Oh, yeah, I I can see that, too. That that totally makes sense. Um, 
where you kind of have like the or the established religious orders, and then you have all the <laughs> all the terrible things of Diablo and the demons and everything, right? Um, okay, yeah, this is awesome. Ananark, amazingly, amazingly talented. Um, I just wish I could like see it all like at once. It's such an immersive build here, and this is seven hundred items just to make this pathway. So. Um, Incredible, incredible repurposing of this home to make something quite spectacular. Okay, thank you everybody in Twitch with the hype. If you want to show your emotes, go ahead. Okay, and an arc, always an inspiration here. I should just like stay and analyze and like look at this and <laughs> like maybe maybe just give you a second to take it all in here with the beautiful scene, beautiful terrible scene. Using the bonfires and everything to good effect. Those really, they have smoke coming out of them and. Also, they have the kind of the heat distortion going on, and that makes the whole scene feel a little bit more active, too. Okay, stunning work. Yeah, this is Ananarch's Ebonheart Chateau on PCEU. And we have five more homes to get to today. They won't all be like this. We'll go and visit another home. We're going to go to Nine Pences Stillwaters. I've gone to one of Nine Pences' homes the other week. Quite enjoyed it. Wanted to go to another. They invited me to another. Okay, let's go see what Nine Pence has put in their Stillwaters Retreat. Stillwaters Retreat kind of starts with like a Dwarven Mine and then opens up into the Frozen Lake. There is a guest journal from the Essential Housing Tools add-on. I'll sign that so they know that I've stopped by to visit. Okay, we have... Something frozen. We have a bridge. We have... Uh, it seems like a frozen ice flow type of a feel with a lot of snow feels very cold this actually doesn't normally feel like this actually all the rocks here have been added too so it feels a little bit more like a mine like a frozen mine more than an old dwarven ruin okay and then changing up the lighting in here too I can tell that they used that azure plasm cage that kind of puts these lighting effects up on the ceiling. You can kind of see it waving about a bit. Um, that's from the Azure Plasm Cage Luxury Finishing. I was up on the Luxury Vendor, the Weekend Vendor, just a couple weeks ago. Probably can still get them at a decent price on the Guild Traders right now. These Zen Idols, these are from, new from Blackwood. Just kind of mysterious here, kind of embedded in the snow. Okay, it maybe just setting the scene here. A bit of a mystery. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Oh, well, I think this is the build. <laughs> we have we have an amazing, amazing airship of some sort. Cool. Using some of the new Deadlands chandeliers here. Well, that's fun. And then using some of those luxury furnishings from uh, the Grotwood. Um, just to kind of add some engine power to that. It's like it's still rotating there. Well, this is cool. Using these Stormhaven anti antiquities as well. P the tower pillars. It's awesome. With the lights. Is that like a thruster? It looks like that's the front. So these are obviously shooting concentrated science out. I think it's a scientific vessel. It must be. You don't want to stand in front of the science. So, um... Okay, we have Yeah, cool airship. Let's get into this. I like how people see a chandelier and they're like that looks like it could be part of a ship. <laughs> could be like a nacelle or an engine here. Ooh, I like how it's very magical too. So, they put in Oh, I see. They're using those Deadlands pillars, too. I think those are craftable, kind of in the middle, like the main structural core there. But they have the spiky bits on them, too. Looks awesome. Um, and then using that green, glowy, globby thing. That's from the Reach 
Achievement Furnisher. I, I just barely got that unlocked. He had to talk to somebody after the main quest line. I had never bothered to talk to the person, so I went and talked to the person, and now I can get that one. And awesome comet trails here. Okay, a lot of power behind this. Ooh, super engine in the back. Ooh, like double comets all the way. <laughs> it's so bright there. I love this. I love it. Yeah, it was a little, yeah, a little unexpected. Um, I, yeah, I don't know about the entrance then. It must mean something. Oh, there's more. I'll have to go. There's more going on with the atmosphere here, just like the scenery here. I'll have to go and let's go explore the ship first, though. Okay, getting inside. I like how comfortable it is. We have all the pillows and these nice benches, like you could go and relax. <laughs> just like a little reading nook here. Piling up your laundry. Like cruise quarters, but kind of like a comfortable, kind of like a family living situation. We have washer and dryer here. No, we have some sort of a monitor system. Or a washer and dryer, however it is. Um, <laughs> just doing your laundry. It's piling up here. Gotta go wash those. Oh man, those used to be stark white. Um, it's fine. I'll go wash these with our space washer. Space dryer. I'm assuming this might be a spaceship. It feels spacey. It's all metal-like, right? I like how you actually have a window here like with these display cases. You can actually see out. That's a nice touch there. You can see all the science happening down below. Perfect. And... Reminds me quite a bit of Drop Stitches builds. I've been going to a lot of them. Maybe, maybe drawing inspiration from them, or maybe Convergent Thinking. These cushions are... Pretty nice to use, though. And then, like, just a nice mess mess hall area. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, this is quite nice. Have a drink. Have a bite to eat. And study some star charts. Okay, cool. Super, super creative. And this is from Nine Pence. Stillwater's Retreat. Quite spacious inside, actually kind of surprisingly so. Um, amazing, amazing structure. Seems like we have some space spiders that have hitched a ride. Or maybe these are the main crew. Maybe these are the ones doing all the science. Makes sense to me. Okay, and then we have, we have more going on. Like We have a geyser using another comet for this. It's like Old Faithful here. Probably don't want to get very close to that, because it's going to be blistering hot, but... And you'll die, but... <laughs> that works. That works pretty well. So we have a geyser. We have... Anything else kind of hidden around here? I saw a couple things out on the... Like a loon. And the cave has been blocked off, so I don't go wander into that. Yeah, more geysers, and... Okay. Keeping a couple trees and everything just to make it a little bit more immersive, I think. And then over here we have ah, crystals and everything and a sled. Oh, see, something happened here. And this is a scene. Maybe there's a mystery. So we have a spaceship full of spiders and science. And then we have a campsite. These It seems like this must have happened recently because the dog is still here. Hmm... Luxena03 with a sub. Thank you, thank you. Super appreciate that. It makes me think maybe... Maybe the spaceship, like, flew down this way and landed. And this just happened to be the trail that they flew over. And it's kind of like a magical, cursed trail. And then they spun around and landed on the lake. And it's just that these guys happen to be, like, in the exhaust trail. <laughs> they just got fried. Um, oh no. Um... At least the dog was smart enough to run away. Or something terrible is happening. Maybe it's like a plague. Maybe they're like nano... Maybe there's like nanotech on here and it like decomposed them and it's starting to reconstruct like nanostructures. Ever watch Starship or Stargate Atlantis? I think there was a theme like that. <laughs> All these... 
nanoify the planet. Anyway, um, ba ba ba. They landed on an alien planet, and the spiders killed them, and are taking the ship. Oh, it could be that. I mean, so many interpretations. But they didn't. They didn't do anything to, with the dog. So maybe the dog wasn't assessed as a threat. Oh, good pupper. Oh, good non-threatening pupper. Take our little spider pals on a sleigh ride. Okay, um... Beautiful. And a little creepy. And a little... I kind of feel like I might be next. But what an amazing ship. Back of the ship again. Yeah, the back of the ship is pretty impressive here. Great use of these Deadlands braziers. And they're like four different shapes of them, so kind of get the one that works for you. Um, I imagine more people could use those. They just have a really good stark metal texture to them. Okay, great. And we'll keep going. Ba -ba -ba. Next up, from Shrednacrom. Or something like that. Shrednacrom. Shred I think it's Shrednacrom. Antiquarian Alpine Gallery. Now, they told me that there are a few secret passages. A few seems like a lot. They, uh, they, otherwise, they would have said, like, a couple. <laughs> they probably have, like, 20. Um, have the ethereal well. Ooh, I really like the uh, b blue brazier in there. Plus the sky shard. This is still... Functional, too, so you can go restore your ult. I really like how they do that. Pi Mikey with the follow. Thank you, thank you. You can actually overlap things with the Ethereal Well. Um, it will restore your resources in the house. Good way to get your ultimate back, especially if you're parsing or heading into a battleground or something. Um, but I like how you can overlap that. So they actually added that blue brazier antiquity plus a decorative sky shard just to draw more attention to it. ba 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 Hi, Pi Mikey. <laughs> what game do you think I play? Um, let's go. Uh, this looks like some vines. Vines always mean secret passageway, right? They do. Perfect. Okay, we got a secret passageway. Ooh, to some blue mushrooms. And to a statue of Moloch Ball. Oh. Moloch Ball, kind of one of the big baddies. Of ESO. A little bit. A little bit. Makes me wonder. Good way of displaying coffers. Might be doing a coffer challenge in the coming months. Okay, going forward. Going forward. Back past the secret. Okay, I'll be on the lookout for more secret passageways. Ooh, big custom structure. Ooh, I like that. I like the green here. It really blends all together. We have the, the green pulsing, probably Hagraven cauldrons up in the towers. And then we have the green banners from Leowin. Cool. A lot of the dwarven Markarth floors and everything. I just really like the polished brass look on that. And then we have the ponies are pathing about, the character pathing. Adding a little bit of a majesty to this. What an amazing scene. Okay, well, let's go check this place out. Trying to Azura. Ah, I see we have, like, fresh hay here. Good use of these elsewhere. Desert grasses again. Now, they said there were secrets. Okay, so I've got to be... Mindful, like poking around. Like, is there is there a secret pathway back here? I see vines. Wait, wait. I see vines. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, I wasn't actually expecting. Okay, we have secrets. We have more. More secrets. Where am I going? Down a spooky cave. Oh no, where's it spitting me out? Ooh, ooh. Mushroom paradise. Beautiful, beautiful. Um. Well, how fun is that? Can I get back up there? Oh, I don't know. I don't think I can. Well, I can go through. I can go forward. No, go forward. <laughs> I somehow missed the entirety of the build. Um, 
we'll go chase his secret. So this is the Zenithar Adatum Gate. You can get 50 pieces of this from the Zenithar's Abbey Public Dungeon in Blackwood. Kind of would take a while. Or we can get them on the Guild Traders. Um, yeah, but it's gallery items you can actually put in each of your houses. Oh, wait, it's like secrets upon secrets. Where am I going? I don't want to miss anything behind me. Ooh, dragons. I like this. This dragon is actually from the Undaunted Quartermaster. By the Pledge Quest Givers. Achievement furnishing. Okay, well, I'll leave this how I found it. What am I getting myself into? Up into a hall. Ooh, it's nice and bright here. Somebody has put a lot of love into this. Somebody is keeping this nice and lit and vibrant, even though it's very secret. I have to worry about falling through the carpets here. Oh, wow, they have like a lot of achievements. Big Sunspire achievements and everything. But hard mode achievements. Cool, cool, cool. Where they hid the actual structure in this house. Well, they have the whole castle. I, I bypassed the castle. I might be in the castle at this point, but... I don't know. Good way of displaying your trophies and everything. Okay, awesome, awesome. More dragons. Those are pricey dragons, too. Elsewhere, achievement finisher. Um, I got, I'm going to fall through this carpet, aren't I? We have Volendrung! An amazing... Ooh, I love the statues. Just these sentries here. Well, let's go grab Volendrung. Oh, I didn't fall through. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was worried about that. Perfect, perfect. This frame does it really well. This is actually an a AP Cyrodiil achievement furnishing. You have to go and grab it and kill somebody with it in Cyrodiil, and then you can buy this. It's very expensive with the AP. If you ever earn any AP, you should only ever spend it on achievement furnishings. That's right. <laughs> it's, it's pretty well accurate. Um, I, I keep spending AP on other stuff. I keep regretting it. Yeah, yeah the nice stair arrangement. I, I, I really like how this is laid out. We're putting these elsewhere braziers on top of these. These are like Markarth platforms. They have like these little bumpy polished brass nodes on them. And then those make really good spots for this. And they've actually covered up a lot of it with the base of the statues. It's just really well constructed here, right? Okay, well let me get back out of here if I can. Because I didn't even go to the main part. Where, where, where go? Where do I go? Let's go... Well, let me just go back to... Maybe this is like a treasure room. Let me start at the beginning. Uh, let's just go back with, back to the beginning. Oh, Popper, guide the way. So, I went that way, and there was a secret path that way. Let me go around. Maybe there'll be a secret path the other way. Hmm... Maybe not. Let's go in the main structure. Oh, it's nice and pretty inside. I always like to leave the door. Unfortunately, I have to do like three states on these. Uh, we have... Oh, it's pretty. Big Markarth fireplaces. More puppers in here. Get some fresh drinks. Oh, we actually have visibility of this place. Oh, yeah. Of the, of the mushroom room that we saw before. Looks like I could hop down there, but I don't think I want to just yet. Also, our bar stools, perfect here. Okay, I'll keep uh, looking all around. See what else this house has to offer. Mary, with a follow. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we have lots of doors. Lots of doors. Where do they go? I have a bedroom. Looking nice. Yep. Using a lot of these Markarth floors for the walls. They're quite large. Quite a lot of big square footage going on with them. So as far as making structures, that's probably a good way to go. It makes it look kind of fancy, too. And then we have another bedroom with a cat. And a bath. Good colors going on here. 
And we have... Last room. Something here. We have... Oh, we have a drinking buddy. Maybe pick some drinks up from the bar. And can I go say hi? I feel like I can... I'm gonna fall. Because <laughs> I can see things below me. Um, well, let me hop over there and try to get over there. Okay, cool. I'll just chill with ya. Maybe? Maybe? Oh no! <laughs> okay, so this is just an alternative path to this place. Um... Oh no, okay, I fell. And it seems like this will just go back to where we'd been before, right? Okay, so awesome, awesome. I'll just kind of chill here then. I'll be king of the mushrooms. King of the mushrooms. I'll be cool with that. Perfect. All the love. All the... All the love. Balthazar's with a follow. Thank you. There's also a secret crafting room. Oh, wait. I, I missed one. How, how did I miss that? Let me... Go back again. Let's go back again. I, I missed secrets. I mean, they're secrets for a reason. Okay, if I were a secret, I would be really complex and neat. I know, I know. All these secrets are awesome, too. Um, chest room. Chest... Oh! Oh! At the very, very end. I should have kept going. Rip. Um, okay. I see, I see. I, there's something... I did miss something at the end. Get out this way. I can. Okay. Alternative path. Let's go find a secret. A secret past the treasure room. No, at the start? Wait, no, at the start. At the start? Wait, what's... I thought the chest room was... Oh, okay. Never mind that. Going back to the beginning. Chest room at the start. <laughs> Which was over this way. Like, wait, 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 wait. It's over this way. Getting totally lost and confused. Okay, so there, not only is there a room here, there's a secret room here. There's a secret... Oh, right there! Vines always mean secrets. I should have been looking for vines. I wasn't expecting secrets upon secrets. Aha! We have a Sylvanar stone. Which will... Well, that's one secret. Is that the secret? See, this doesn't seem like a crafting room. I don't see what I'm crafting here. Are there more secrets? There must be even more secrets. Wait, what? How, how do you have so many secrets? If I were... If I were a secret, where would I be? I'd be... Oh? I'd like a little... I don't know. Wait, interact with this stone. Wait, 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 what? Interact with the stone? Oh! Oh! It's the door to the house! What a clever disguise! That's uh, what I get for not having my UI on most of the time while I do these tours. So we're in Alpine Gallery, which I kind of totally forgot because you've completely covered it up and changed this. Um, okay, we can go inside the house. The, how clever is that? Oh, beautiful. And then we have all of our crafting stations and everything, so we can go and craft up a storm and stuff or reconstruct gear and... I'm I'm just expecting there to be like ten more layers of secrets here. Well wow, that's I think I think this will probably do it then. I love the atmosphere with the with the cerulean ferns and the crystals and the aethercrop mushrooms and everything. Amazing. I'm impressed you were able to cover up the door so believably. Totally threw me off. I I just saw that it was an end. <laughs> um this is the first time you've ever made, by the way. Oh, that's awesome. Good talent. Good good eye on this, too. And, like, how thinking about how you can surprise your guests and everything, right? It's hard to fit it all within the furnishing limit. Oh, I totally believe that. I mean, you're at just about 600 here, right? Okay, great job. Amazing. With the secrets and everything. Okay. Shredna. Thank you, thank you. We'll uh, keep moving along with the housing hike for now. I'm really impressed by this, so let's just go see. I might be stuck in the wall if I go out this way. Oh, nope, good. You haven't thought about that. 
secret little door there, completely covered up. So the entirety of the Alpine Gallery home is back there, but completely covered up. Okay, awesome. I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> anyway, I didn't, obviously, because I got lost. Um, fun build, yeah, keep at it. Yeah, I, I keep going. Okay, next up, from Beansprout, they have a Matisse and Manor. This will be a little bit more light out here. So we have House of Banners. It's a place of study, research, and relaxation. Okay, we'll go and and I'll, I'll have to check these greenhouses out. Covering up this side of the home so I don't go venturing where I shouldn't. I really like how the sun plays off of the trees here. They have really... I really love the lighting effects that they do and, like, the water effects. There's, there's a lot of good going on with the systems and... Yeah, so in general, and that plays into housing as well. Okay, beautiful courtyard. Lots of trees, lots of petals. Very inviting, calming feeling with this. Um, <laughs> it's not quite like the Deadlands taking over here, right? It's just pretty, and I don't feel like I'm going to die. And that alone probably doesn't describe a very many houses I go to. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to die in about most of the houses I go to. Well, I might be eaten by dragons. That's... That's fine. No, they're just a little... They're playful. Just having fun. Might bite my hand off. Okay, imminent death. That's okay. Let's go ahead and go in. I think I have speed gear on. I should have realized that before. Just go ahead and take these off. Go to the veranda. Wait, was there... A thing I missed? If you know that there's something out there I missed, let me know. We have Mary, we have the House of Banners, so kind of a museum vibe going on here, research vibe, maybe antiquities, things from your adventures on display here. Maybe you've helped out a billion different people as you've been questing about, and you can have an homage to all of them. And... More banners. So many banners. A lot of these come from the respective achievement furnishings. You'll unlock a lot of those and you can buy them. Very colorful in here with all the banners. Ah, blocking this room off. So this is a good way of preserving your item limit, which is uh, they put a bookcase in front of the door. Fills in the door really well. Actually very perfectly here. The mausoleum luxury furnishing. Um... And then you don't have to put anything in the room. <laughs> so that helps. And it also makes it so I don't go poke my head into empty rooms. So that's great. That's always great. You want to be thinking about how your visitors are going to experience your builds, right? Closing up empty spaces is great. Is that, a, that looks like not a house guest. That looks like a person. That looks like there are five other people in here. I'll have to go and discover them. It's Queen Bee. That is terrifying. Whose emotes are those? Oh, those are from her Ashy Spores. Oh, that's great. I love it. <laughs> to go look into that. Um, we have... Ooh. What a warm place. Taking our order. We have Oaky Wolf and Night Owl Whisperer. And I shall ask, what guild do they represent? What what guild? Because I always get them all confused. Or it might be different people each time, so I just want to make sure I get this right. I'm going to guess that most of these people come, or come from a specific guild on PCEU. Role-playing fun, fun, maybe housing a little bit that they do. We'll see. We'll see if they answer. Okay, we have food. Ooh, I love this wall. Like... They've, what Beansprout has done here is used these bookcases 
and brought the wall forward and then added all these textures to it. So using some of the bookcases um, for the shelves here and then filling the rest up for you know, various serving and prep areas. That's pretty impressive. And then adding columns and whatnot in there. Great, great, great. Just layering all these textures together. They're taking my order. Are those my order? Oh, I, I, I definitely ordered the octopus pie. Oh man, rare. Oh man, I mean, medium may as well be well done, right? Mm, yummy. Um, get that. I, I kind of, I like it to like wiggle a little bit. Better texture that way. Yeah, calamari. <laughs> okay, going going up, I think. They are from the... Oh, they're just friends. They're not from a particular guild. They're just Beansprout is... Gloat and that they have friends. Humble brag. No, um... <laughs> Beansprout doesn't need no guild. They can just have friends. And have fun together. Great alchemy station here. We have... Yeah, great. So we have a functional alchemy station, and then we have, like, the, the poison maker cabinet, and all of our herbs, and our books, and our research, and all of our little vials, and little glass bodily things. Oh, I guess I can... I don't know if I should spoil that. <laughs> anyway, um... I've been looking on things at PTS, and then I'm always wondering if I should say what I find on PTS or not. There's some cool stuff coming with housing, with the uh, Waking Flame update, I'll just say that. And our enchanting station here too, awesome, awesome. Little balcony, even these little balconies will have a view. Okay, you can see the courtyard, you can see out into the, the city here. Yeah, one thing with... I hear things, I think, in the greenhouse. Um, yeah, one thing that's really cool about housing is that it's like you have a plot of land here, like here in Aradin, overlooking Skywatch. Um, and so you can actually, like, see Skywatch. It feels like you're just right here on the perimeter of it and you can see everything and it feels all high elfish and it's not just like it's a void out there it really feels like you are you know in tamriel okay beautiful beautiful and bluish fireplace very magical across from the enchanting station makes sense We'll go room by room here. We have some sort of big balcony. Ah, we have a greenhouse, greenhouse, greenhouse. There are green plants growing in the greenhouse. Very magical. All the mushrooms and stranglers and weird creepy vines and tendrils and fly traps. Everything wants to eat me. I'm flattered, I think. Naz with the follow. Thank you, thank you. Lovely. It's beautiful. Oh, gotta be careful there. <laughs> Gonna try to feed it some meat. <laughs> Maybe that'll work. Okay, and... Research area here. They did say it was a place for that. Another balcony view here. Getting a good look at the courtyard. Beautiful, beautiful. You can see that there's going to be another greenhouse full of stuff. Spooky. So uh, I like how you can actually see everything from out here, too. And then we'll get into the greenhouse from here. Aha, uh -huh, with the retaining walls from Somerset. Is framing this very well. 
Oh, you did a clever thing, which is you put the kind of the greenhouse past the boundary of the balcony here, and then that ended up kind of making this lovely window box for all the plants here. That's clever. Okay, cool. Um, using shrubs, using butterfly bushes, all these colorful things. Some of these are luxury furnishings, like this maple. This is a home goods furnishing from Somerset. Tenmar plants from Elsewhere Home Goods Furniture. Very colorful. Stop. Why do you keep feeding the plants? It's making me worry. <laughs> why, why do you keep throwing chunks of meat at the plants? Um, no, it's fine. I think th those were not the terrible ones. Okay, we have... We have goat. Goat face. What's... Did I... I went this way, right? No, I didn't go this way. Oh, this is the... This would overlook the backyard. Oh, there we go. So we have a good view of... The Merid Meridia statue there. Okay, pretty. Listen to the birds. Nice and relaxing, like they said. A lovely garden. And then a... Nobody allowed section. Uh, let me just sneak in here. And... Why is it gated off? Oh, no! Oh, no, you don't see me. You don't see me. Instinctually pull out my blade of woe. <laughs> no, we... Oh, it's just... It's like a sleeping quarters area. Okay, it's just... We have a research... Kind of like a school type of a vibe going on with it. So we have a research places and then quarters as well. Maybe there'll be more down below. Oh, yeah, this kind of bleeds into what we saw before. Okay, okay. And I think that will pretty well do it. Amazing filled out home with beautiful views. And I'm going to go and follow Bean Sprout. Make sure I didn't miss anything because that's not Bean Sprout. Um, following them anyway because they feel like they're rushing off to something I missed. Oh, oh they're slipping on the bed. That's cute. Good fit there. I'll, I'll just ask if I missed anything. They say, thank you for coming. That probably means I got it. Okay, thank you, thank you. What an amazing place. I believe it. I believe this is a great place for research and relaxation. A little R&R. &R. That's right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you again. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, and we'll keep moving on. I think we have two homes left for our housing hike. Thank you again, Bean Sprout. Two, two homes left today. Oh, we're going to go to say Uri Mays Gorner Estate. Do to do with the follow. Thank you, thank you. You can use these five emotes now. Awesome, awesome. Good use of the house guests. Oh, so weren't... <laughs> Most of them were house guests. They were friends. There were, there were at least five friends in there. Okay, um... Sayuri May. I've actually been going to several of Sayuri May's homes lately. They do a really fun job with like textures. I, I I don't know how else to describe it. We'll see what they've done here. They have a summer house for the Dwemer. Okay, so maybe we'll have a bit of like a mechanical vibe going on with this. I can see that maybe right away with this light just lighting away and we have the ebon wolf here all mechanicalified okay great and good pupper good robo pupper uh we have well these paths aren't necessarily blocked off there might i'm gonna guess there's not anything up here though um just double checking really quick and then we'll get into it okay i think i'll just go back to the beginning okay follow the pupper follow the lights Usually, usually good. Should take my own instincts here. Okay, we have... Oh, we have an amazing, custom, fantastical building here. I love this shape on it, where it's like... You know, we have, we have like, different shapes going on with it, and then we have really big pipes and everything. It, it feels very 
whimsical. Um, like, out of a children's story type of a thing. I don't know if that's what they're going for, but I'm, I'm getting some fun vibes from it, so we'll go with that. We even have, like, a little relaxation place here. <laughs> our little, our little pods here. It's kind of funny. It reminds me of, oh, I don't know if I should do an old reference. It reminds me of the Men in Black scene where they have the white eggs and they're trying to fill out the forms and they can't do it and their pencil lids keep breaking because they can't find a flat surface. And then they, Will Smith pulls the fountain to his pod and then he can write. I don't know about that. Maybe. I don't think that's what they're going for. Anyway, totally random. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. We have... Oh, it's like a little doghouse. I think it's a little doghouse for... Who's who's padding over here? Is this the pupper house? It must be for the pupper. Um, We have a little mechanical pupper house. With the food and the water out here. What does the pupper eat? Nutriment paste. Of course it does. <laughs> oh... Okay, uh, tasty. I, I, I like the little egg seats. They're more modern, right? That's what they were going for, I think. Okay, oh, we have... We have an art shop of some sort. We have, oh, a cute little robo ball. We have, like, a little bit of a makeshift blacksmithing area. Like, fixer-upper type of a place. It feels arts and crafty. Like, we are making... Lights. We are... What are we doing? I don't know what these represent, but they are very colorful, and I like the colorful stuff. Wait, where's my... Where's my... There's my colorful stuff. There we go. Perfect. Um... It's like they're making candles or something, but Dwemer equivalent of candles would be glowy salt lamps. I don't know, maybe. Cool looking place? It, it's fantastical is what this is, I think. Okay, beautiful design. And we have a Dwemer kitchen. What do Dwemer like? They like sweet rolls. Or at least their pets do. I, ooh, I like how they've layered all this together. So they've taken probably an Alinor fountain. They've used, like, a Dwarven plate from Markarth. They've used a scavenged plate from the Breast Fortress. Used a Chronal Frustum lamp up above. And then they have this Basin of the Divines here for the Sink Basin. Cool. Like, covering up all of the fountain and lighting it up and figuring out what would work well. Perfect, perfect. Um, really changing up a lot of textures here. Oh, we have these little incense stands, kind of like we're keep, keeping these warm. Cool, cool, cool. Very bright here. Okay, and we can go up. I think there's a couple things outside of mist. I'll track back to that. There's a lot of display cases I used in here, just to kind of add structure and a nice glassiness to it. Gives it a bit more of a refined feeling. A little less open. <laughs> the coil of Satakal being used as an end table for your shivering cheese. Perfect. And we have a custom Dwemer clock. What I really like about this clock that they have here is that there's nothing that's actually dwarven about this except for the little tiny cog in the middle. Like, the crystals aren't necessarily that, or that red guard rain catcher with the, the gildedness isn't, or the, the orcish seal isn't, but all the textures work really well, and if I saw this, I'd be like, yeah, that's definitely like a dwemer clock. It's just very... Mechanical feeling, right? And golden, and that works perfectly. Cool. Fun place. Ah, custom, custom 
lamps. I'm always a big fan of those, using an alien metal on top, making it more dwarven metallic look, right? Even though it's alien and not dwarven, works well. Okay. Getting really creative with how you are using the furnishings, looking at the texture, thinking about how you can repurpose these. You know, you can flip things upside down, sink them into the walls. You can, oh, have a cute little nest for your microtized, verminous fabricant pet. It's walking right towards me. Okay, beautiful. Do we have anything else going on that I missed? Oh, wait, follow the path around. Follow this little cute guy. Where are we going? Oh, we have a, <laughs> we have a dwarven motorcycle. That's quite a hog here. It's big. Can I get up into it? I'm gonna get up into it. Can I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb on it. Um. Must be possible. It must be. Po I wanna. I wanna hop on this hog. Oh, I don't know if I can make the hop here. Oof! Oh no, it's, it's gotta be possible. It's gotta be possible, right? Jumping challenge. I don't think they intended it for this, but I'm gonna get on that bike. Oh. Hoppy hop. Hoppy hop. Hoppy hop this way. I'll just hop up. Hop up on the... <laughs> There's gotta be something with collision I can hop on. There gotta be... Uh-oh. I need... I need this. Oh, I got it. Okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, now I'm a cool motorcyclist. It's huge. Oh, look how huge it is. <laughs> Maybe for a giant. Um, this is how all the cool, cool kids ride their bikes. Um, motorcycle. That's right, parkour bike. Yeah, so using a lot of uh, dwarven pipes for this. And then a couple other things kind of built into it. Kind of using spears for the main body of it. Okay. Uh, I think it's a little big. I need, I need like a size smaller, if you could. I guess this isn't mine, but I claim this. <laughs> I want it. Okay. Coming up with an awesome custom bike. Okay, really fun, really fun. So, Sayori May, having a lot of fun with this. I like how active it is, too. Like, we have these pipes coming off of this, but not only are they pipes, but you see stuff coming out of it. Like, it's kind of magical and kind of over the top. So, going with a really good atmosphere here, good use of the character pathing. Like, I nearly wouldn't have found this without the little pet guiding me to this, so... That's a really great way to use your pets and your mounts or your house guests is to actually have them so it's like a come follow me type of a feel so you don't miss things. That's a great way of going about housing. Okay, awesome. Love the windows. Yeah, great, great fun things on this. I really like this. They just have like these. I can imagine that those would like spin in the wind up at the top there. Again, just kind of adding to, to the whimsy of it. Okay, I think that will pretty well do it for here. Let's see if I missed any secrets. Um, we'll keep going on to our final home of the day. And I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> uh, so, Levathi invited me to their home, uh, the Exercise Coven Cottage. They have... Something, they had something terrible here. Something so terrifying that I said I can't show that on stream. So they changed it up and they have some triggers so I can show that off after the housing hike is wrapped up. But unfortunately, it won't be for YouTube VOD. Um, oh no! Oh no, why are you crying over the griffin? Is it injured? Do we have the Indric? Did it, did, it, did it get hurt? Did the Indric do this? Did you do this? Oh no, maybe it's just old. It's not the last leg. Oh no, oh no, okay, well this, maybe I shouldn't be showing this off either, it's a little frightening. Okay, so we have, we have, oh no, your pal, your pal there, your, it's, it's hurting. Oh no, this is, this is sad. 
Is, oh no, I, I don't know. Wait, wait, I have, I have instructions. We have Quest. Quest is called Endangered Griffins. They say that Indrik is a healer, and they want you to help the four lost griffins. We'll free them. Is this one lost? Actually, I don't know. Is this is is this one lost? <laughs> is this one of the four? Or one of the five? Are there four lost ones? I found one. I found one. I'm on a roll. Okay, I I didn't even try. Without even trying, I found one. Um. Oh no. Okay, well, let me go. There, the the rest must be in danger. I think time is of the essence. We have. We gotta find the griffins before. Okay, we'll go. Griffin, I gotta I gotta go. Help find your buddies. Before they all burn to death. Oh, I found two of them. I found two of them. They're in the cage. I'll go grab the cage here. <laughs> Just you want the whole cage? It's a little heavy with the two griffins in it. Can only carry one. They could fly, right? They could like flap their wings so they're flying, so they I don't have to carry them. Um. There's four four other. So there are five griffins total. Five griffins total. Okay, everything's burning. We have like a. Okay, we found them. We found them, Levathi. Free them. Can we free them? I don't know if that's a plan here. They'll be they'll be freed. Oh, or or we'll kick yeah, we'll kick it open. We'll kick it open. Kick kick. I'll kick it open. Is it? Is it's, I don't know. It's not. We got it. You got this. Do you, do you? Oh, we got we got it. We kicked it right off. Cause that's how cages work. Okay, perfect. Um. Okay, they're free. Fly away, little griffins. I'm gonna. I don't know if they want me to show their action or not. Oh, there's a griffin. Oh, it's on top of the crates. Can I get to you? Are are you too? Can I, get, can I get up there? Uh, I'll get you. I'll get you. Oh, it's paralyzed with fright. Can't move. I have to go grab you. I go go. I'm burning. I feel. I just. Oh yeah, the water. We'll we'll just make it not burn. Make it not burn is a good idea. Bucket splash. Bucket splash it up. That's a smarter idea than throwing myself into the burning pyre. Um, does it work? It, it worked. It worked. Okay, great. You don't have to be afraid anymore. Griffin also happens to be afraid of heights and is now just scared up there. We have budgies, um, and they do, they do, they're, they're adorable at times, but they also are, and they're smart at times, but they're also a little dumb sometimes. Like, sometimes if they get scared, they'll fly up on, like, top of a door, and then they get scared of being up so high because they hate flying downwards. They can hop up. They can hop up and up and up and up, but then they eventually get so high up that there's nothing else for them to hop up on, and then they really hate going down. <laughs> so, um, that's, what, that's what I'm thinking of with, with this. Anyway, so... No, oh, Griffin. I've got to find your buddies here. Okay. Okay. There, I found. We found three. We've saved three of them, I'm assuming. We've saved three. Wait, is this... This isn't part of the home, right? Okay, well, where's the rest? Oh, no, he's still there. Okay, good. <laughs> Thud. We have... Anything this way? Is this it? I can't go that way. Okay, that's blocked off. Oh, do I have to jump up here? Maybe I have to jump up here and over. Oh, is there a griffin back there? Oh, there is a griffin back there. Oh, no, I found you. I found you. In the cage. Oh, no, it's burning. Oh, no, toasted griffin. Oh, no, I found you. I've got to save you. i got to save it. Um, somehow, we'll tread bucket splashing again, I don't know, maybe, or we'll try kicking this, or we'll try, um, I don't know what other emotes I have. I'll try power of cake. Here, here, come get the cake. You found the strength to come get the cake here. Or, oh, Levathi has a plan, which is to, like, break this open. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> we'll get this open somehow. We'll hammer, hammer, hammer away. Hammer low. There we go. Hammer, there we go. Oh, this is where we need that little mini trebuchet, right? That'll be coming soon. Come get your cake, or I'll hammer you. No, no, are you free yet? I don't, I, I'm hammering. I'm hammering away. I'm, I can't bend these bars. Griffin, like, use your beak or something. <laughs> oh, we got... Oh, ow, ow, ow. I'm hurting the griffin. Oh, no, okay. We freed the griffin. We freed the griffin. Yay. Just love the scenery of everything burning. <laughs> oh, I goof off. Um, it's fine. And then I get out of here, right? Oh, oh, this, uh, a whole party has reassembled. Oh, we even healed up this one. The Indrik healed up our our injured griffin. Oh, perfect. Can I go? Praise me, praise me. <laughs> Power of friendship saves the day here. Perfect. 
or something. Something like friendship. Power of fire. Okay, Lavathe, thank you. So, and if you like this with, you know, going and helping friends, and you're here in the Twitch chat right now, well then stick around because we're going to turn this into a gruesome battlefield here in a moment. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's wrap up for now for the YouTube VOD. So, we'll go ahead and thank everybody. I uh, went to six homes today, and it's been really fun. And I'll get a couple screenshots while the griffins adore me. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, thank you, Lavathi. Um, okay, so we had Ananarch's Ebonheart Chateau recreated to be the Deadlands. Totally believable, too. We went to Nine Pence's Stillwater's Retreat. Had the amazing alien metal spaceship on the ice there. Uh, super fun. We had Shredna Krom's Alpine Gallery with just a few secret passages and an amazing castle. And... This hidden crafting room cover, covering up that door was awesome. We went to Beansprout's Matisse Manor with a house of banners, a place for some research and relaxation with the beautiful views and the beautiful greenhouses. And we had Sayori Maze Gorner Estate with the amazing custom Wemmer structure. It's a nice summer retreat. And we ended here in Levothi's Exercise Coven Cottage. Is that what it is? Doesn't feel like it at all. <laughs> with uh, Saving the Griffin Quest. Oh, and we saved them all. No griffins were spared, were saved, were harmed in the production of this. Um, that one, that one. And that will do it. So, can do so much with housing, have fun with it. Make it your own, personalize it, have fun with your friends. And we'll keep having fun here on the channel. Stay spicy. Boop.